crashes. We've all had them. Anyone working on real long enough has had this jerk show up. It happens without fail. When you're about to wrap up a personal project you've been working on for months, or you're in the middle of production, and you have a delivery by end of day, you think you're almost done. And then, to which, of course, the only reasonable, rational reaction is, or, I need another coffee. So what do you do? Wallow in despair and self-pity? Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. But after that, don't panic. There's a lot of things you can do to remedy this problem. So the first thing you're going to want to do is narrow down the source of the problem. Open up the task manager. Go to the performance tab up top and click on GPU. Keep an eye on dedicated GPU memory usage. In 99.9% .9 of cases, this crash has to do with your graphics card memory, also known as VRAM, okay? As an artist, you can never, ever have enough VRAM. There's, there's a reason why cards like the RTX 3090 are so expensive and hard to find is because the, that VRAM is priceless to artists like you and me. So before you start renders in Unreal, just make sure you close any GPU intensive apps, like close all your GPU intensive programs, if you're running games in the background. If you're running two instances of Unreal, close that. You have a Chrome open with 75 million tabs open. I'm looking at you, Howie. Close Chrome as well. You wanna basically close anything that's non-essential to Unreal. You wanna get your graphics card as much VRAM as possible to work with. Now, when it comes to time to start your render again, okay? Open up your scene and hit that render button one more time. But this time, keep the task manager open on a second display. You're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on the graphs of the dedicated GPU memory usage here. When you start a render and this has crashed before, chances are you're really topping off your GPU VRAM. Okay, so keep an eye on that curve and you'll see it kind of just like creeps all the way up to the top. That's usually a sign that, hey, you're using too much VRAM. Okay, and it's causing Unreal to crash. That is the source of your problem. Like I said, in 99.9% .9 of the cases that I've had this encountered this error, it's been because of this. So what do you do? You know, you close all the apps in the background and Unreal is still crashing. So first off, if you happen to be using the screen percentage console command in your renders, so if you're super sampling your renders, you've got R dot screen percentage set to 200 or something, you're gonna wanna tone that down. Okay, so to bring that back to 100, just to see if its renders are still crashing. And if you're not using this console command, then I recommend tone down the resolution. So if, let's say you're rendering in 4K, just render in HD just to see what happens there. In many cases, turning down your resolution is going to get rid of this crash. What is likely happening is at lower resolutions, it's running fine. And when you crank out the resolution to something like 4K, issues start showing up because it demands a lot of VRAM it becomes a problem. Now, how much VRAM do you actually need? The simple answer is you can never have too much, right? If I, if I got a graphics card with 128 gigs of VRAM, I would grab it in a heartbeat. I'm running with a RTX 2060 Super that has eight gigs of VRAM. Personally, I wouldn't recommend anyone to work with anything less than eight. 12 is not too much. 24 is not too much, but less than eight start being very problematic, especially if you're trying to render in 4K. I honestly don't think you're gonna be able to pull it off. So if you're using a graphic, an older graphic card that has four or six gigs of VRAM, you might wanna consider an upgrade. Now, I hate suggesting hardware as a fix to software issues. It's like, eh, just upgrade your computer, problem solved. I understand it's a lazy solution, but I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. In this case, if you have less than eight gigs of VRAM, you're not gonna have a good time. So consider the eight gig minimum. So often, toning down your resolution, it's going to help you a lot. What you can do is use the R dot screen percentage console command, and instead of setting a number like 100 or over 100, you can undersample your renders as well. You can set that to 50. So the renderer is all automatically going to cut your resolution in half by 50%. This can work for a lot of people. This is not an ideal solution, but it does help you kind of figure out where your issues are lying. So let's say, for example, you've kind of figured out that, you know, rendering in 4K with the problem, but everything works fine in HD. But for your project, you need 4K. DLSS may be the solution to your issue. Now, NVIDIA finally released support for DLSS in Unreal Engine. DLSS is essentially AI upscaling. So it, your scene's actually going to be rendered in 1080p, 
but with the aid of machine learning, it's going to upscale it to 4K with pretty darn good results. So take this with a grain of salt. I haven't actually tried DLSS myself yet in Unreal. I don't even know if it works with the movie render queue. So just keep that in mind. I just figured it's worth mentioning in case you want to try it out yourself. So I've had a lot of people ask me questions about this crashing issue. And a suggestion I often give them is this one. Turn on virtual texturing. Virtual texturing is a way to allow Unreal to reduce its memory usage while simultaneously allowing larger resolution textures. It's basically magic. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details of it, but it's a pretty magical solution. I'm not gonna lie. To enable virtual texturing, you're gonna to wanna to go to the edit tab up top, go to your project settings. In the search bar, you're gonna type virtual and scroll down a little bit and you'll see the enable virtual texture support. Make sure this checkbox is checked. Okay, restart your engine and try rendering one more time. Chances are this will solve your issue. It's worked for me and it's worked for many others I suggested this trick to. So definitely try that. So just a quick recap. First thing you can do is don't close any background applications on your computer. Keep an eye on the task manager. Check out that GPU memory usage graph. Try toning down your resolution just to see if that's the source of your problem. Turn on virtual texturing support. If you don't have enough VRAM in your graphics card, consider getting a better graphics card. Now I know they're incredibly hard to find nowadays and they are wildly overpriced, but you know, if you get your hands on a better card, it's worth it. And last, this is not really a trick, but maybe your scene is just too heavy. Maybe your textures are way too big. If you brought in some 8K textures from Megascans, chances are that is like way, way overkill. Of course, depending on your shot, right? If you got a hero shot and extreme close up, yeah, you're gonna need some higher resolution textures. But for the most part, for anything that's in a mid end background, 2K is often more than enough when you're bringing in Megascan stuff. So keep that in mind. And that's it. That's really all you need to do. If all of those things still didn't work, then I'm really not sure what to tell you. You may have to check in your scene. There's maybe something in your, in your level that's, you know, crashing your render. That could be some corrupt blueprint or something. But these tricks here should really help you out with this error message. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'm super appreciative of all the support you've given me since the very start of this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.